What's up guys? My name is Cynthia Williams. Um, if you're new to my channel here, this is this is my closet <laughs> and welcome to one of my closet combos. Um, so I do talks from my closet on a weekly basis. Um, I do them on my Instagram story and then also in a uh, private Facebook group called Metabolism and Makeup um, where I do um, makeup demos but talk about nutrition topics, fitness, um, health, wellness, anything um, along those lines. So a little bit about me, my primary gig is I am a nutrition coach. Um, I do fitness as well, um, but my main gig or my true passion is nutrition. Uh, I specialize in helping with um, improving metabolism, hormone health, and gut health. Um, I would say I do work with men, but I would say I'm probably 85% women, 15% men. Um, and that's typically because women tend to crash diet and do fad diets more than men. Um, so I really work or specialize with women that have a history of trying every fad diet, um, <clears throat> diet cycling, um, doing drastic measures to lose weight quickly, and they end up just basically wrecking their hormones, wrecking their metabolism and killing their gut. So I work with these women to get them healthy, um, <clears throat> get their metabolism revving, get hormones in a good spot, and help them on their weight loss health goal journey, basically. Um, so what I do is the closet combos. <laughs> um, so I'm also a mascara artist. Um, so I'll do some makeup demos and um, pick a topic of the week. Um, this week we're going to talk about fasting um, and just kind of go over that topic and try and give some tips and um, education um, on certain things to help people along the way with their fitness goals because there's so much information out there, so much crap out there, um, and it's actually Actually, when it comes Actually, to fitness and nutrition, it's really simple. It's basic science. <laughs> um, the body uh, is a well-oiled machine and works um, in a specific way. And it's just getting back to the basics and kind of blocking off all the other stuff that's out there. Um, and just doing the basic work and um, getting yourself healthy and teaching you a sustainable lifestyle, basically. Um, when I work with a client, I teach them the nutrition. I don't give them a specific meal plan and say, eat this, this, and this, and um, stay to these calories per day. I'm teaching them about food along the way so that they know how to design meals. They know how to um, stay on goals, whether they're eating at home, going out to a restaurant, going to a party, a big event, whatever it may be, I am teaching them this nutrition um, and what makes up, you know, what are good proteins, what are good carbs, what are good fats, how do you want to pair that in a meal, how much fiber should you be getting a day, how much sugar should you be getting a day, all of that kind of stuff, um, and so that they have a good understanding of food, not just, okay, they put me on this meal plan, I'm going to eat this, this, and this, or assigning points to stuff, and you really have no idea the quality of the food that you're eating. So that's my biggest complaint with a lot of nutrition programs. It's most of them are a good starting point, right? Because you just need some um, guidance, you need some boundaries, you need a plan of sorts. But the issue with most of those plans um, is there's no after, okay? Once you get through the plan and you've reached your weight loss goals, there's no education on the after. How do you maintain weight loss, all right? I always say weight loss is easy. What's hard is maintaining the weight loss. So that's what I really work hard with my clients on is that they know what to do when they're on their own. I don't wanna be working with a client for three years. If I'm working with you for three years, I didn't do my job. My typical clients with me, I would say a year to a year and a half, um, and that's because we have to typically go through a reverse diet of sorts. And that is where we're not focused on weight loss, we're focused on health, we're focused on improving metabolism, building muscle mass, cleaning up the gut and optimizing hormones. And when we get all of that stuff humming and in a really good place, then we really hammer down on weight loss because they're in a good place for their body to respond to the weight loss this time and keep the weight off. And all the while I'm teaching them about nutrition and how, how to 
to sustain this and make this a lifestyle and work for your home um, because there's nothing worse than going on a plan that has you, especially, again, most of my clients, my general client, you know, is a mom with kids, with a job, and the last thing they're going to do is cook a meal for their self and a meal for their family. Life is already busy enough, so teaching them how to create these meals that work for them, but will also be incorporated into their family so that it's cohesive, it's easy, it's a lifestyle um, type thing. So that's a little bit about me and my nutrition. Um, as I said, I'm also a mascara artist because uh, it just kind of falls in line. Um, you know, it's um, taking care of ourselves. You know, we're taking care of ourselves internally, doing eating right, feeling good, getting our energy up, our libido up, all that kind of stuff. And then we want to look good too. So um, I love the mascara. I love it. It's kind of in the philosophy of who I am and how I teach things. It's very simple. It's very clean. It's easy to understand. Um, and it just fits into your life. Um, and you don't have like 500 pieces trying to juggle it and put it together. It's all in one compact right here. So that's why I love mascara. So today I am going to talk, we're going to talk about fasting. Um, fasting is one of those things that has been bastardized basically by the fitness and nutrition industry. Um, just probably like any any, um, I guess, career field. People get a, a small piece of something that's good and they run with it and they just try to get sucked the most out of it or whatever, uh, if that makes sense. And that happens a ton in the fitness and nutrition industry. That's why it's so confusing and there's so much information out there. Um, so fasting is one of those things. People um, got a hold of it and took it and bastardized it and made it seem like it's this magic pill for fat loss and it is not. Um, Fasting goes back for centuries, and if you look across almost every culture, every religion, some of them do fasting at some point, somehow, some way, it is incorporated, and it's uh, incorporated for health reasons. Fasting, if you is done correctly, is fantastic for um, lots, lots of health. It's health um, great for your gut. It's great for helping clearing brain fog. Um, it's great for um, increasing cellular turnover and your body kind of cleaning house of sorts to make it simple um, to get rid of any kind of um, possibly detrimental cells that could turn into some maybe dysfunction or disease, things like that. So it's it's a great way for your body to clean house. Fasting does not, and let me say this again, does not equal fat loss, okay? Fat loss always comes from calories in versus calories out. You have to be consuming less than what you are burning off for fat loss, okay? And that's basic human physiology, anatomy, law of thermodynamics. That, I mean, that's it. That's science. That's the way the body works. So why people will lose weight when they're fasting is because Typically a fast, the most common one is called a 16-8, which means you fast for 16 hours and you eat in an eight hour window. Eating in that eight hour window is causing people to be in a calorie deficit. They're reducing their overall calories because they're sticking to a window. So they're losing weight. Just like, you know, keto or paleo or any of those, they are not magic diets. All of those, and if you prefer them, I don't care. I don't care what, when I work with a client, I don't care what style of eating, what um, type of plan you want to follow, I don't care about that. It's about the quality of the food. No matter what plan you're on, I'm going to get you on the highest quality food. And if we're in fat loss, it's going to be calories in versus calories out to get that weight off of you. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. Um, and you can do any of them. It's whatever you prefer. But at the end of the day, you have to realize it's calories in versus calories out. So let me get started on doing some of this makeup too. So this is a typical closet combo. I do makeup and talk. Um, now, um, so I like, I will do fasting um, myself when I'm in a cut. Uh, and a cut means a, a calorie deficit period. And it's easier to do a fasting uh, regimen when I'm in a calorie deficit because it's a smaller amount of calories and you can fit those calories in in an eight hour window. On a normal, my normal maintenance calories, which are about 21, 2200 calories, there's no way I would do a 16, eight eating that. Trying to shove in 2200 calories in an eight hour window is gonna cause more gut distress 
than good of the fasting. Um, so if, like I said, if I'm in a small deficit or I have a client in a deficit, it's a tool in your toolbox that I would suggest to do. Um, one, because we're in a calorie deficit and two, get some of those health benefits of the fasting period. Just like anything else though, our bodies adapt very quickly. So there's a, another famous diet plan out there that promotes eating in a 16-8 every day. Now, initially the first month, maybe six weeks, maybe two months, you're gonna get some health benefits from that. Um, but after that, your body adapts to that schedule and you start to decrease the health benefits of that fasting window. Um, so other than if it's keeping you regimented to your certain calories, health benefit wise, they start to decrease after a period of time. All right, let me get into makeup. So I'm gonna color correct here. Um, I have some melasma right here. I have a little red spot and then I have dark circles. So I'm gonna color correct with those. And this is why I love this product because of how versatile it is. So I'm gonna start with my color correction. This is called Frenchie. It's actually a lip and cheek color, but the peachy undertones will um, counter the blue undertones under my eyes and I'm not getting good sleep. My nine month old is going through some kind of sleep regression. So it's a struggle um, these last couple of weeks here. All right, so here's this. And I'm just gonna go underneath and I'm in all daylight. I don't have my um, ring light or anything on so you guys can see um, clear uh, the, the makeup here. So just the tiniest, tiniest amount of product I put on my brush and put underneath my eyes here. And as you can see, it wiped out the blue, okay? Now I'm gonna color correct my um, little red spot right here. So I'm going to use a color called June. So all of our makeup comes in tins like this. You just slide the tin out and then this tin pops out and you put it into your compact. It's magnetic and it just snaps in there, which is beautiful because you can customize your compacts. Um, so I'm, again, tiny, tiny amount of product here. And I'm just gonna put that on that red spot. This June color has a yellow base to it. So that yellow, um, uh, again, counters that red. Okay, and now I'm gonna do my melasma here. So I'm actually gonna use our contour color. This is called Aspen and it's got some cool undertones. So I'm gonna put that where I have melasma. It's gonna look a little dirty at first, but I'll show you um, how it's gonna blend out and even out my skin tone very nicely. So. I'm gonna take my 30 second hack brush. I'm gonna go right into it, just like this. Tap, tap, seriously, the smallest amount of product. That's why um, this stuff is so much different than your typical foundations or anything like that. It's tiny, tiny amounts of product. Okay, so fasting is good, um, like I was saying, for the health benefits that you can um, get from it, but it does not equal fat loss, all right? So there are some things to consider though, if you are going to do a fasting regimen. All right, let me, now I'm gonna come back in. These, so when you get color matched with mascara, you will get three colors. You will get a main highlight, another highlight, and your contour. These three colors together make up your foundation. Each one goes in a designated area on your face and you buff it out to equal your foundation and then you'll have nice dimension and highlight on your face as well as beautifully evened out skin tone. So my main color right here is amber. I'm again going to just lightly tap like that and I'm gonna work it into my beard and mustache area. So with fasting though, um, what I, uh, if you do a fasting regimen and you're not losing weight, that means you're eating more than you're consuming, okay? Um, and that's what I honestly see a lot with clients that come to me initially and they're start, and they start with me and they've been doing fasting and they're like, I'm not losing weight fasting. Um, it's because they're consuming more calories than they did out. But if you have any kind of um, history of a poor food, food relationship, like in the sense of a restrict and binge, like you will go into a, um, a specific diet or reduction and um, you really reduce your calories, you really restrict, you know, all the things you like, sweets, pizza, wine, whatever it may be. And then you have a breaking point and you end up binging on it you should probably not fast. Fasting is just going to exacerbate that relationship with food because you're in a restrict 
fasting period for 16 hours and then you eat for eight, um, and I see this a lot with clients, they will restrict for that 16. And as soon as they can eat at that eight hour window, man, they consume like a thousand calories right then and there. Um, and it is just uh, encouraging that restrict and binge mentality. So if you have any kind of history with food, like that, I really don't recommend um, a fasting protocol for you. I think it's just going to end up even worse for you in the long run. Okay. All right. So I have my main highlight, as you can see, is even out my skin tone. Now I'm going to come back in with my lighter highlight and my other end of my 30 second hack brush, tiny product. And I'm just going to work it right here under my eyes. I'm just going to lay it on my skin right now. I'm not going to blend it in right here on my forehead and across and down my nose a little bit. So all the places that light would naturally hit my face. Now I'm gonna take it and just work it up under my eye like this to blend out the peach that I put on there and even out, see how nice that looks right there. And so when you're doing your um, highlight right here, you wanna do a triangle, triangle. You wanna come down your nose right here and under your eye like that. Okay, and I'm gonna do this side just like this, come under and down. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more here. Now I'm gonna come in with my third color, the contour. This is called Olive, and I'm gonna put that in a three. I'm gonna come around the forehead, under my cheekbone, and under my chin. And then I'm gonna come back and buff all three of these colors together to equal my foundation. So I'm gonna put that right here and it's just tiny, tiny, just taps in your product and lay it on the skin just like this, as you can see under my chin a little bit, just to give me a little bit of chiseled look. I'm gonna do just a little bit on my nose to give me a little bit of contour today. Uh, if I was doing, going out for dinner, I'm just doing a quick face today. I would do a little bit more detailed contouring, but I just want to show you the basics today. When you are contouring your cheek, you want to start at your hairline, come under your cheekbone, and only go right here to the outside of the corner of your eye. All right, we want just a little bit of definition right here. We don't want to look like that. All right, so keep it back just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to buff everything out. This is my blush and bronzer brush. And I'm just gonna come back and buff it all together and blend it out and have nice, even skin tone with dimension. Just like that. Okay, see how nice, how even skin tone is. You can see I've got good light in areas, contour in others, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to come back and just to show you how versatile it is, since this is the Frenchie color, here's my other lip and cheeks right here. These, these are our illuminators and then these six are lip and cheek colors. But just to show you how versatile the product is, I'm gonna use Frenchie, um, which I use to color correct my dark circles for my blush. So I like to put quite a bit of blush on and then I'm gonna come back with my bronzer and again, buff it out. So I'm gonna put a good amount of Frenchie on right here on the apples of my cheek. Like that and then I'm gonna take my bronzer this is Bella bronzer right here using my blush and bronzer brush and it looks really dark and it's a cream based bronzer but I promise you I bet all the money that it looks good on every single skin tone and it blends out beautifully so trust me on the Bella bronzer all right and again tiniest amount of product tap tap and I'm just gonna hit that three again I'm gonna come right here on my cheeks under blend under my chin because I'm a little bit wider under here than I am on my face and my chest. So I just want to make everything look nice and even. Blend it. I'll go down my nose a little bit. So see how nice and pretty that looks. It look like I just have some nice glow from the sun. Skin tone looks really good. Like that. Okay. All right, now I am going to, let's see, to make this quick, I'm gonna do a little mascara. So the one product that mascara does not carry is mascara. Um, so this is Josie Moran's Black Argon Oil uh, Mascara. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on 
really quick. Okay, so with fasting, guys, again, um, I don't recommend it if you have any kind of poor food relationship. Um, but it is good if um, you're good, um, if you don't have any kind of issues like that, the restrict binge with it. And if it helps you to stay in your calorie deficit, I'm all for it. I think it's a great tool to put in your box and use. Like I said, I use it when I'm on a calorie deficit and doing a cut. Um, it's just, it's a one, I'm getting the health benefits of the cellular turnover because I don't do the fasting on a regular basis. So when I pepper it in or intermittently introduce it into um, my nutrition routine, um, I'm going to get those health benefits of the, the fasting window. Um, and then it's just, it's a little mental trick for me, <laughs> um, if anything, to just, it kind of keeps me in my deficit and in my game and it keeps me from cheating um, on my deficit days because I don't want to when you know when you so with the fasting window um, research or studies show that you start to get that cellular turnover or that housekeeping of the body around that 14 hour mark so that 14 to 16 hour mark of your fasting window is when you're really starting to get those benefits so i never i don't ever want to cut my fast short because i'm like okay i've made it this far and i'm getting those health benefits you can just write it out a little bit longer and get you know even more health benefits so it's just a little mental game that i play with myself um to do when i'm fasting um but you know, it, it is what it is and to each person their own. But if it definitely helps you stay in your calorie deficit, I'm all for it. Just as long as you realize that fasting is not a magic pill, it is not creating the fat loss. The calorie deficit will always create the fat loss. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get, I need to get moving here. All right, so I'm gonna use, this is our hotline brush. This is the same contour that I put under my cheeks around here. I'm gonna use that to fill in my eyebrows. So when you get matched with your colors here, your contour color is gonna match your eyebrows for you. So that's super nice, super versatile. Again, everything's in one compact, all right? Your makeup bag is not full of a bunch of stuff. Um, you get a free compact when you buy four, eight, 12, or 16 10s. Um, it's just, it's the packaging of this stuff is just phenomenal. So I'm just gonna lightly tap that brush in my contour and I'm gonna fill out my brows with it, just like that. See, very natural cover up the grays <laughs> right there and fill that out so that's what um so with fasting like i was saying um it's you know, it's a great tool to put into your toolbox like i you know i suggest it to my clients when we're on the calorie deficit um because typically um, my I've been with my clients for quite a bit before we go into the first calorie deficit because 99% of my clients have to be reverse dieted, honestly, when they come to me. Um, and that's why they come to me is they're tired of um, diet cycling. They're tired of fad dieting. They're ready to do it right this time. They're ready to do, you know, I always just say do it once and do it right. It's going to take a little bit longer. Um, if you were, if you stop shopping for those quick fixes, the things that you think are going to pull the weight off of you the fastest and just do it right once, then you can stop doing that because how many times, how many cycles, this is our milk lip conditioner. It's phenomenal. I'm going to put a little bit of that on. Uh, you know, how many diet cycles have you done? How many di different diets have you tried? How many times have you cut calories and increased, uh, exercise to an unsustainable amount. You can't keep up with that schedule. It doesn't last maybe more than four to six weeks. How many times have you done that? And what you have to realize is every single time that you do that, your body's super smart. It adapts and it's going to make it that much harder on you to do it the next time. So if you notice, uh, and I hear this line a lot, I'm doing all the things I used to do and they're not working. And that's because every time you crash dieted, um, reduce calories to an unsustainable amount, increase exercise to an unsustainable amount, your body doesn't like that. And it's always fighting to reach homeostasis. So it's going to learn that and it's going to adapt to that process. And then it's going to try to prevent you from doing it again. And what can happen, what we call is you get a fat overshoot or a rebound period. And that's why say you lose 10 pounds, 
but you gain 13 back, that is your body adapting to that, that process that you did to drop those 10 pounds. And then it's putting a little bit more cushion on there to make it harder for you to do the next time. Um, and that, that I see a lot. And that's, I would like, I was saying 99% of the clients that I work with are in that position, been in that position. They're tired of being in that position. So we fix all the damage because every time you do that, that causes a lot of damage internally. So it takes a little bit of time to undo that. Once we undo that and get you in a super healthy spot, then we focus on those cuts and that fat loss. Uh, and it's sustainable. It stays, it stays, it stays, it stays. So all right, so that is a quick face. This would be just my regular face. Um, like I said, I am uh, most of my nutrition coaching, coaching, excuse me, all of my nutrition coaching is online. So I sit and do telehealth calls all day long. So this is about all the makeup that I would wear on a normal day. I will set the makeup. Um, so we have a perfecter sponge. This is a little bit different than your beauty blender. It's much more puffy and big and squishy. Um, so you would take this with our setting spray. Um, it has an SPF in it, which is fantastic. And it smells like the beach um, and spray that on this and push it into the skin that will set the makeup that will pull off any excess makeup that you may have on your skin to keep it from transferring throughout the day. And it will make it last all day. So you can do this. This is what I would do if I was putting on a face, like going out for dinner or something like that. But for my telehealth days, I'm going to set it with our other bronzing um, powder. So we have a bronzing cream and this bronzing powder called Cayman. And I like to set my face with that powder. So I use my bronze and br bronze <laughs> blush and bronzer brush. It's a mouthful every time. And I just take it and just a little bit and lightly go over my face and set everything. And then I'm good. And then it lasts all day. The other benefit guys to this is our creams have a natural sunscreen called titanium dioxide in it. So you're getting a natural sunscreen. It's a cream base. It's moisturizing to the face. Any skin type, skin tone can use this makeup. Um, it is phenomenal. So if you would love a color, color match, you can, um, uh, shoot, click the link to my website, shoot me a message. Um, I'll put the link to my Facebook group where I do these weekly talks about nutrition and health. Um, and you're welcome to join that group as well um, and get some good makeup demos, but also get some new good nutrition advice that hopefully will help you. Because my goal is to get all these women off of these crash diets and stop fad dieting and get it done and get it done once and get it done right. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope you'll join my Facebook group. Um, you can check out my nutrition coaching information at CynthiaWilliamsFitness.com. Um, and yeah, that's it. So have a good day, guys.